Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Live Net TV app to your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And the very first step is you gotta get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have Downloader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have Downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course follow me. So firstly, we go to the search bar on the Fire Stick, open the search and start typing Downloader in here. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. So we just click on Downloader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got Downloader, it's not over yet because you still have to set it up. So now in order to actually set up the loader, we will have to go to the settings by clicking this button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to my Fire TV. Open it and now in here, what you have to do is turn on developer options on the Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's gonna say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging right here, then go to install unknown apps. And in here, all you have to do is locate downloader and turn the option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now we go back to the list of apps on our Fire Stick, open it, and here is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost only a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Canada right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video or in the description of this video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. And now let's go back to the list of apps on your Fire Stick. Here it is. Open it, and let's head straight into Downloader, as we are ready to use it now. So we open the Downloader app, and now here, what you gotta do next is open the search bar and start typing in the code which is going to be 504 and then 524. So once again, it's 504, 
5 to 4, that's the code you have to enter, and make sure to enter it exactly as you see. Then you click on go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you would get even more content about Fireworks. And now this web page has opened for us, and you have to scroll down and click on download for Amazon Fire TV Stick. That's all that you gotta click on the Fire TV. And now the download of the app has started, usually doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your internet connection speed. Then click install and just wait until the app gets fully installed on your Fire TV Stick device. And after that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, as this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you don't really need anymore on your Fire Stick. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And now when you go back to the list of apps on your device, you open it, and here you'll finally see the Live Net TV app, which we just installed. So enjoy the app and don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. See you next time. Bye bye.